is the moment, tonight is the night We'll fight till it's over, so we put our hands up Like the ceiling can hold us Like the ceiling can hold us Go back, this is the moment, tonight is the night We'll fight till it's over, so we put our hands up Like the ceiling can hold us Like the ceiling can Hello everyone, I'm Aaron Spot, and today we're going to be talking about a theory on what Limit Breaker Goku's, I guess, Dokkan Awakening is going to be like. Kind of feel like, because people were speculating about this, but if you haven't paid attention to when they first announced uh, Limit Breaker Goku, and I was like, come see Limit Breaker Goku in episode, I think... 110 get ready for the half hour special and the thing is if you pay attention to his aura it's blue bluish like uh, the surrounding of his body ultra instinct and then there's a hint of red could it be a Kaokin mix because obviously we're we're gonna see a rematch against Goku and Jiren so why not do that? Like, that's probably Goku's only option to use Ultra Instinct and Kaioken. I don't know what kind of Kaioken. Kaioken 20 times 20, I meant. Or times 10. I don't know. I don't even know if his body can handle it. And if people kept saying that Frieza is going to give him energy, Frieza's going to try to kill Goku. He's gonna give him energy, guys. Don't worry. They can't just kill off Goku like that. Because he's important. And he's the only one that can stop Jiren at this point. And I feel like Frieza's try going to try to get, like, a transformation. Like, Frieza seemed a little too intrigued. Well, not really. Um, he just, like, oh! <laughs> but, I kind of feel like Freeze is gonna ask him a question about Ultra Instinct and see if he can find a way to make Ultra Instinct a part of his own. By the way, uh, I am actually playing the game right now. This is not like a gameplay, I just put in the background. I'm actually playing the game. Farming some Ultra Instinct Goku so I can feed it into him. So far, I have him at SA3. Probably just gonna lead the rest up to the 50% because. It's really hard. Like, I don't even have that many medals. I I'm running out of... Uh, what was those medals? It's those bug medals. I forgot what they're called. Uh, but right now, I have 14. But, okay. What Dokkan Awakenings are going to end up being in the Limit Breaker Dokkan event? I have a, r a lot of expectations on what the Dokkan Awakenings are gonna be. Obviously, Limit Breaker Goku is gonna get a Dokkan Awakening, but what I mean is from the actual event itself. Like, what, like, our character's gonna be picked to have Dokkan Awakenings and have fierce battle? I believe Kale and Khalifa will get Dokkan Awakenings from the Dokkan event of Limit Breaker Goku. That and maybe the strength hit. You know, the extreme, the extreme strength support unit, the one that gives three key and 40% attack up to extreme strength types. But that's just my thinking. But what else could have a Dokkan Awakening? Now, I'm really thinking hard because, uh, oh, wait a minute, maybe that 17? You know, the, the 17 from... That banner, I forgot what it was called. Mm. Uh, I guess the Tournament of Power, because like, I th yeah, it's this 17 right here. It, it was on the banner. I got a really good feeling he's going to have a Dokkan Awakening too, and he's going to be very, very good. Uh, wow, this is a terrible turn. Um, But basically, that's my theory right there. I don't really have much to talk about. I just wanted to share this information to you guys. Maybe maybe you guys can come up with some theories back in the comments. So if you have any ideas on how 
Limit Breaker is Limit Breaker Goku's event is gonna be like and what could have a Dokkan Awakening and what couldn't but anyways guys that's my theory right there so like subscribe whatever and as always I'll see you in my next video bye bye ooh a counter One, two, three, four, five.